100 years old. That's quite an achievement, if truth be told. Playing cricket at the Woods of Pool St. John until moving to Congo in 1921. 50 years later, we moved from there to here. 1971 was the year. We played table tennis and darts, hockey and football, cricket and tennis, and we were good at them all. Then in 1978, a play was added to the mix, and there was gales of laughter and loads of hysterics. With Marshall and Brian, Watson and Lewis, a play at Windward was not one to miss. So here we are again, it's 2022. Pandemic, super, and yet we carry through. So pull up a chair and enjoy the show. It's time for the vacation, so off we go. <laughs> Oh, so you know Mr. Little One? 
a long time there, yes. Stewie and I were inseparable when we were younger. I'm sure. This is so then coffee, thank you. Oh, what are you Yes, I would like a needle razor, a short on shaving cream. I also need some shampoo. I might stick the owner for sure. I think that's everything. Really? You don't want to shave razor food? Well, let me serve you, sir. I need a large bottle of Mike's Rum Punch. I thoroughly enjoyed that last year. A case of Bikes beer, some white wine, some small pineander juices. Some soda water, okay. some milk. Okay, not so fast. <laughs> Got that? Soda. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Littlewood, how are you enjoying that coffee? Well, it's fabulous. Thanks, Mavis. It is quite good. What brand is it, Mavis? So I can pick up some more. Is that brand called Widom's? And is that Rummage that is met at the class? Oh, the way that Nicholas Abbey. Rum age coffee. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a fabulous idea. It is. <laughs> and what do you suggest we get in the way of food? Oh, I use normally have for breakfast. Oh, well, Stewie does enjoy a full English breakfast. Full English breakfast? You two are going to call you one breakfast? Well, excuse me. A full English breakfast usually consists of two eggs, either poached or scrambled. Bacon, sausage, diced potatoes, tomatoes, baked beans, black pudding, and toast. Oh, and apple? Mr. Letterwood, where you just put it? <laughs> You know 
one wants a ketchup, mustard, onions, butter, milk, breadcrumbs, and cheese with macaroni oil. Then some carrots and potatoes with stew. And then add in also Q. How do you spell that? T H A T. It's how you spell that. <laughs> Hey, 
call you wife? We call you upside woman. Babes, <laughs> there's a question I don't gossip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you about it when I get home. <laughs> that should be about seven. All right, no props. I wonder if Shar Shar and Stu Stu get to the supermarket, okay? Shar Shar and Stu Stu? Whatever. <laughs>
Hey Bradley, it's me Liz. My good, you know, how are you? You still painting? Remember, you straw up and straw down. You got it? Yeah, I know you good at stroking. Listen, <laughs> Anthony, tell me that he will get his phone at the villa that I'm working at, Bernison, and the wood saying. Yes, as he say, Mr. Liverwood, that was here for the storm. But Bradley here, can he wife? Can he outside, woman? Bradley, I'm a Christian, I don't gossip. <laughs> but I will tell you about it when I get home. All right, no problems. Bye bye. Thank you, ma'am. I'm not going to start to repair that. Well, I have the wrong fight, Shasha. And here you are. Cheers to a fabulous holiday. Mm. Wow. That is good. That is great. What's that you have there? These folks have suggestions on places we can visit and things that we can do while we're here on vacation. Really? Let's see what we have here. Oh, this looks interesting. Experience a rum cherry dinner at the rum vault. Of course, you don't see that one. That's a special bit of rum. <laughs> I was more thinking of enjoying a relaxing stroll through the gardens at Orchid World. I'm not really into flowers. <laughs> Look at this one. What you park driving experience. Test your driving skills on our new racing circuit in your choice of machinery from go kart to a radical race car. <laughs> okay, Colin McCree. <laughs> Sunbury Great House. This 300 year old plantation house inspires a vivid impression of life on Sugar Estate in the 18th and 19th centuries. This stunning plantation offers guided tours of the historic buildings and landscape grounds. You know what? Maybe next year. Look at this one Off Road Fury Barbados. The ultimate off-road go-kart experience for both children and adults. Yes, well, I think we did enough off-roading trying to get to this supermarket. <laughs> the Barbados National Trust Open Houses explore some of the island's most beautiful homes and gardens. An educational lecture teaches you more about the island's architecture and they serve refreshments, they have local books and craft on sale. And rum punch is served. Oh, the run punch bar sounds good. But look at this one. Berkey's Surf School. Take the plunge with national surf champion Alan Burke and learn how to ride those Caribbean waves. I think you would take the plunge and end up with stitches. <laughs> what about this? Oyston's Fish Fry. Every Friday evening, the fishing shop at Oyston's becomes a venue for locals and visitors alike to come together to enjoy local food sample rum, sure, sure. and enjoy the party vibes and music. Shacks find the market selling freshly cooked fish with a side of salad and macaroni pie amongst other dishes, while patrons take part in karaoke and dancing. <laughs> this no pros experience will certainly leave visitors with a lasting impression. Well, we definitely have a winner with that one. That does sound good. We are doing that tonight for sure. Mavis, we were thinking about trying out the Oysters fish fry. Right? Is that something you would recommend? What? Oysters for a Friday night? That's be hopping. Hopping. That's a true bacon experience. Wanna get enjoy that for true? Is it expensive? No, no, no. The two of one can eat a nice plate full of food for about fifty dollars. Real good value for money. But you know where it gets expensive? Is when you meet up with your friends and he drinks and start to pour. Well, I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem because we don't know that many people here. No. That's true, you know, but Andrew and Bradley is normally go down on a Friday night and they sing a little karaoke. Mm -hmm. I just like to carry my own key. Killing me softly with this song. <laughs> Killing me softly with this song. <laughs>
way around, right? It's a juicy oh. plant. Well, you know, I'm trying to remember the recipe, but I think I've got it. Four of strong, three of sweet, two of sour, and one of wheat. Yes, yeah, you can go in there. Andrew said I even bring it. Like wanna take it, you go. 
I get warm, I water fresh. That means they'll have a bath and put on some perfume and cologne. I think I know some people somebody brush my teeth and then get them from there. <laughs> Anyhow, the music are yogi. I don't, but Stuart loves it. Or you could dance. Um, I could do a jig. You could dance on like a plan. I'm gonna save a dance for you, right? The girls down there look you know they look pointy. I'm sure they do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then, I'm holding you down here. Yeah. Lucky he ain't get a lock up. 
can't handle stopping, but if you're suffering by them. Yeah, you really by yeah. Look, you remember the party girl at the house and dance the year when you shot at your kid? No, I remember that at all. You know you number at your house? I didn't get your number yet. Probably if she had to be there all the time. Oh, you feel it will me in the front I don't know you want me, but I'm up on speed dial. I mean it. See what that one? Listen, you got the most out of your little stuff in that yet? She know what we're talking about. Yeah, that's all. Listen, we ain't dancing, right? Yeah, the little girlfriend, you know, like, he had a little girlfriend, you know, he had a shock. He, he had a few too much to drink last night and he had a little fight. No, nothing serious. It's just a little black thing. But you know, you know, the girl can say whether he needs to see a doctor then when he come. Alright, cool. See you soon, man. Maybe it's any girl that's done for you. Oh, you got boy, though. You ain't moving your head again, check, buddy. <laughs> Mr. Lillard? Mr. Lillard? Look, drink some water. Drink some water. You got no way Yeah, you and the girl coming for you now? Alright, see you soon, honey. 
Listen, sure, Mavis and your girl coming for your nose. Like a virgin! <laughs> Sure. 
I know it's right. Come put it here. Yeah. <laughs> what I should have carried out there this time, but when you went and went to Oysters? Well, I have it somewhere in here, but why do you say that? Well, when somebody asks you to size wrong, that means to move over, they want to sit next to you. And when they ask you for a scotch, that means to shift, they want to sit in between you. And when somebody call you Johnny, they're actually asking you if you're a fool. Speaking of fool, oh, you could call me a little girl foolish. Did I? I don't remember that. Will you just tell me you call me a little girl a puppy? Yes, as in cute, adorable, or pretty. <laughs> Imagine you 
lights are bright out there in the evening. Think of it. 
He wasn't in there. Uh, he got fair. He did better. <laughs> you want me to check, buddy? Yeah, go take a look and see if you see him. <laughs>
sweet potato that is there from them are some fellows that are my fans. And he won a silver medal in the International Wine and Spirits Competition all the way over there in Europe. Jack Sprato, to destroy or fall very harshly. Interesting choice of name. Oh, yeah.
we enjoyed the show. Yeah. <laughs> Remarkable guy. 